Hello students, welcome to Home School with School Teacher English Online Class. Today's lesson has been taken from Grade 5 English Book and the lesson is a poem The Skylark. In this video you will find reading of the poem, poet's introduction, summary of the poem, question answers and books exercises. So let's start with the reading of the story. The earth was green, the sky was blue, I saw and heard one sunny morn. A skylark hang between the two, a singing speck above the corn. A stage below in gay accord, while butterflies danced on the wing. And still the singing skylark soared, and silent sang and soared to sing. The cornfield stretched a tender green to right and left beside my walks. I knew he had a nest unseen somewhere among the million stalks. And as I paused to hear his song, while swift the sunny moments glide, perhaps his mate sat listening long and listened longer than I did. Students, this poem has been written by Christina Rossetti. Christina Rossetti was one of the Victorian era's greatest and most influential poets, along with Alfred, Lord Tennyson and Robert Browning. She began writing poetry when she was a teenager. Her poem soon became very popular in this poem. She describes the song and flight of a skylark on a bright morning introduction of the poem the poet explains how she feels happy while walking through a cornfield she sees a skylark soaring up the sky as she marches along it doesn't sing because it flies swiftly in the cornfield the poet knows that the nest of skylark is hidden in the cornfield she imagines that her companion is listening to somewhere in the cornfield. Summary of the poem The poem, The Skylark, describes a beautiful and peaceful scene in nature. The poet seems to be in peace, enjoying the sight of a skylark in a calm setting. A skylark is flying between the green earth and the sky. It looks like a singing speck above the corn. The skylark flies effortlessly up in the sky. The poet walks in between the cornfield and says that the nest of the skylark is somewhere among the stalks. The poet stops for a moment to hear the song of a skylark. Okay, students, to understand the poem, we, we have given a comprehension section on page number 47 let's answer the questions where was the skylark the skylark was hanging between the earth and the sky and soaring and singing who is listening to the bird song the poet and perhaps the skylark's mate singing the bird song when does the skylark sing and when is it silent? The skylark sings when it is flying up and when it is hanging between the earth and sky. It is silent when it flies down. It means sings. Which words and phrases in the poem tell us what time of the year it is? It is early summer time or spring. Tender green corn butterflies danced the earth was green the sky was blue one sunny morn swift the sunny moments okay next question is what do you think the poet wants to tell us about the skylark's mate like the poet the skylark's mate too was somewhere nearby marveling at the song and flight of this bird 
okay students exercise number 2 is answer the following questions with reference to context so here a line has been taken from a poem a stage below in gay accord white butterflies danced on the wing what was the stage above the blue sky was the stage above what was in the stage above in the stage above were fine sun and the shag bark what is particular does the word accord refer to accord means in harmony with the skylarks dancing and singing were in harmony with the white butterflies dancing around the corn field okay students in section c <coughs> learning about language here uh, you will learn about tenses so you have to write against each sentence whether it's past tense or present tense so let's start she went to the circus last week it is past simple she usually goes to the circus when it comes here present simple what is she doing now it's present continuous she is doing her washing present continuous will she come to the cinema with us future simple she will come if you ask her nicely future simple i'll go and ask her tomorrow future simple i am doing my homework now present continuous okay next exercise is write sentences of your own using the words below and the tense shown in brackets i go to school every day i am going to school now i usually give my mother a present on her birthday i am writing a letter to my uncle i eat a lot of rice on sundays i am wearing a new pair of trousers today okay students our lesson is finished here so uh, like share and must subscribe to this channel for your study solutions take care of yourself stay safe and healthy